our first guest from hit TV shows like Mad Men, Community, and Glow. Her new movie, Somebody I Used to Know, comes out today. Please welcome the adorable Allison Brie. So you grew up here in LA. What was that like? Yes, I did. It was great. Honestly, it was the best of both worlds. I grew up in South Pasadena, mm -hmm. which is like Hollywood adjacent. You know, we're far enough away so you're not in it all the time. It really looked and felt like a small town. Yeah. And I had that like normal high school theater experience. But I think because it looks like such a cozy small town, any town USA, they shot a lot of movies there. So you still had that LA feel yeah. of, uh, you know, the house from the movie Old School was like a block from my high school. And when I was in middle school, I remember walking home one day with my big binder, <laughs> with like my drawings all over the binder and a frantic mm -hmm. PA, you know, some frantic assistant on some movie stopped me and was like, let me see that, that notebook. Oh my God, this <laughs> looks like a real teenager's notebook. Can I buy this off of you for $10? And I was like, my notebook's gonna be in a movie? <laughs> oh my God. And I, and I gave it to them for you I made gave 10. It to that was my first, <laughs> you know, flirt with show business. Your first flirt with it. <laughs> and did you feel like you got the bug then? Did you sneak on sets? You know, I never snuck on any sets, but actually, where we are now uh -huh. on this lot, I used to come and watch shows tape live just like you guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> One of my my um, my best friend's older sister worked for K Rock, which is like the coolest alternative radio station in LA. Mm -hmm. And so she would get us tickets to go to tapings for shows like Home Improvement and Friends. Like I was in the audience for Friends. I will never forget the episode that I saw. It's the episode where Chandler and Monica are already hooking up, but nobody knows. And then he has to kiss all the women every time he says goodbye. It was a great episode, iconic. I was there, you could hear my voice laughing. <laughs> and you, you grew up dancing, you love to dance. Now what's this, you used to sneak in a library and dance? Please tell me this story. I'm so glad you brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> because I still kind of can't believe, you know you do some things when you're like a kid and a teen that you're like, God, I can't believe I had the nerve. <laughs> when I was in middle school, our library, our school library had these two rooms in the library that were, you know, glass rooms, study rooms with tables in them. And you could sign them out for recess and lunch mm -hmm. to study, I assume. But it, you know, that was the fine print. No one ever specified that. So I would sign them out for lunch <laughs> and then invite my best girlfriends and the boys that we had a crush on. That's adorable. And we would just slow dance with them like this. <laughs> In the library. Just to TLC. <laughs> just got red light special on. Oh, well, that's a good and song. Just, but, keep, but you had to keep like a full arms distance, and, but it was sexy. I got to do it about two times and then they were like, you're not allowed to do that in here. So you got caught with it? <laughs> yeah, because the rooms were glass. Like, who was I, like, what was this ruse? Like, once I got everybody in there, the whole library was just like, what's happening? What are you guys <laughs> doing in I there? I think it's adorable. That's creative. I was like, why can't we have dances? Exactly. Every day of the week. Your new movie, Somebody I Used to Know, you co-wrote it and your husband directed it. Yes. Can you tell everyone what it's about? Yes, so I play Allie. We really, it was a real stretch to come up with that <laughs> character name. Um, she's, she's a bit of a workaholic and has some problems in her life and she goes back home, runs into her ex from 10 years ago, the one that got away. They have an amazing immediate connection. And then she finds out that he's getting married that Ooh, weekend. That is interesting. <laughs> and she decides to stick around. Uh oh. Ooh. And hijinks ensue. Well, we're gonna check this out for <laughs> sure. And this isn't your husband's first time directing you. What is that like? You know, it's incredible. We we've worked together a couple times as actors, uh -huh. and then he directed me for the first time um, in his directorial debut, The Rental. And that was really fun. It was like really freeing to be on set with him as a director and I didn't write that or produce it. I didn't have any hand in anything else so I could just be there to kind of support him directing. And he's so good at it, which is great. So you ran through the film naked? You wasn't nervous? Oh, Tell me I about that. I love being naked. Jennifer, I'm a bit of a new. <laughs> no, Jennifer, me! <laughs> you so I have some nude scenes. 
I have some non-sexual nude scenes in the movie. Okay. There's a streaking scene. And it's a nod <laughs> back to my days in college. I went to CalArts. Mm -hmm. um, and my time at CalArts, a great school. I got an incredible education. And also, it's an art school. Um, so I think they wanted all the students to have the freedom of, of just expressing themselves. And clothing was optional everywhere except the cafeteria. You've got to be sanitary. <laughs> so in college, I really like to streak a lot. And as you know, recent as last year, I like to streak a lot. So we just incorporated it into the movie. I think it's kind of like, for us in this movie, it's a real expression of joy, yes. embracing who you really are. I think that's why I like being naked, maybe? <laughs> if you like it, we love it, and we love you. Thank you for being here, we appreciate it. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.